Okay. Right, Stevie boy, I'm going to show you how good this new system is. Okay, so if we start from the beginning, and we go into a lead. So this is someone just walked in off the street. So first thing we're going to do, I'm going to use Jeff as the guinea pig, put the details in. Email Jeff Chapman one at Outlook, for example. Shows that in this bit one. Okay, put his phone number in, website address if he's got one. BernardChapman.com. Okay, right, so that's as far as we're going to go at the moment, so not contacted yet, okay, so this is what we were doing, we put lead source, he walked in, I'm going to save that, so then what we would do is we'd go into our leads every day, we can change this view so we can see whether they've been, uh, you know, contacted, etc. yet, so just for argument's sake, we're now going to click into Jeff, and we've uh, managed to get hold of him, speak to him, and we've quoted him. So I'm now going to change this to quote out. I'm then going to come down here to the quote section, because I'm now ready to fill this in. I'm going to put, we've quoted Jeff, £1,500. And then what's in the package? Um, it's for a website um, and also some business cards. Okay. Then what we do is those lovely PDF quotes that you've done. All right, so we'll save that. What we do then is we go to them lovely PDF quotes that you've done. You'd attach it here. So it's sitting in now. And once that's done, we tick this box. Okay. And then what that enables us to do is, again, when we change the um, this view here, we can make a few different views. We'll be able to see um, how much is out, and you know, just look at the people who's been quoted, for example. So, look, if I go to lead status, is quote out and apply the filter, we can just see all the people who've got a quote out, for example. Okay, all right. So, next thing is we go in now. The beauty of this as well is from here we can send mail so I can do all the mail that we want hi Jeff how you getting on we can choose a template that we'll have to set up so it's all we can do that all from within this system we don't ever have to leave it okay so that's that now next thing that would be <clears throat> Um, we've also got a dress down here, which I want to start getting, if we can, from people. Um, I just think it's good to have. All right, we've got a note section. So, obviously, we can come down here and we can put things like, I tried to call Jeff to close the deal, but was, was not in. Save. All right, so then we can, I can come down. Um, you know, if I'm off, you can look at this and go, oh, John tried to call him on the 30th of December. Didn't, couldn't get hold of him. All right. Okay. So the next thing is now Jeff's come back to us and he said, yep, yeah, I want to go ahead. Let's do it. So we, first thing we do is we click convert. Okay. Now I've already got him made, which is the, uh, the issue that we're getting here, but we're not going to do that. So... We're just going to do create a new account, Bernard Chapman, convert. Okay. This will then convert. And then we've got two things that will pop up, account and client. We're not really ever going to use account. We're just going to stick with client because it's easier for us. Okay. So we're going to click into our Jeff at Bernard Chapman. And as you can see, it's pulled in all the information that we already had about him. So his website, where we got him from, um, the quote that we've sent out, etc. But we've got a few new fields to fill in now. One is the invoice link, because we can put a link straight to FreshBooks to show the invoice that we've made him. And then if we scroll down, we've got project details. So first things first, before we do anything, has the customer signed the invoice? Yes, he has. Once that's done, 
that will trigger you to start the design. You'll then click do the design, send it to the client, the client will be happy. You'll sign, you'll sign it off and that will then trigger me to get the development started. I'll then tick that to say I'm starting development. That will send the customer an email to say development started. I'll fill in obviously all the re relevant details. We'll put in the development link there. Um, and then when I press dev QC and I've ticked it, i.e. we've checked it, that will automatically send that link to the customer with the template email to say, um, have a look at your site, tell us what you think. Okay. I'll then put in the WHM cPanel details and admin details here. We'll then put in the training video URL here to YouTube. Again, the minute I fill that in and save it, the system will trigger a template email to say, here's your training video. So I don't have to do anything other than fill that box in and then it will automatically trigger to the customer. All right, and then the next, the last thing is we've you know pretty much done. The site's been put live, bang. And when we click that, we're gonna set up triggers so that that then emails them once every six weeks or so to say, how are you getting on? Anything we can help with? Um, we might have a three month one to say, why not look at an app? We'll go through the triggers together, okay? Um, and that's pretty much, you know, how the, the system will work. Now, the next thing to look at here is obviously um, we're looking, Jeff, and we want to create a, uh, you know, an activity. So we might have something to do for Jeff. So we're going to go open on the left here, this related list. We can do open activities, a new task or a new event. So depending on what we want to do, we can do a new event. So I've got Jeff in for a meeting on the um, to finish site we know that's going to be on the Thursday which is there and it's at 10 a.m. to 11 is fine okay yep happy with all of that nothing else I need to add in there it's me save event created successfully Okay, perfect. So if you scroll down, you'll be able to see all the events and tasks in there as well for Jeff. Now, for me, using the system, I'll click Activities. And you can see I've got my leads and clients, which is the only one we're ever really worried about. And it's this one. So I can see I've got Jeff's in for a meeting blah 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 I might have a new task I might need to need to go through Jeff's website when's that due well I've got to do that tomorrow who's that link to Jeff it's in progress do I need a reminder save alright Obviously, I haven't put me reminder in, so yeah, I do want a reminder. Right, save. And you can see now, I'll go to activities again. I've got a task, and I've got Jeff. Now, again, we can change this view so because we don't really need others, open deals, or customers. All right, mate? Or we can have it like that, which is a bit easier to see. So, And then we can change. Right, when do we want to look at? We just want to look at the stuff due today. Bloody, bloody, blah. Okay. Now this is great because what it means is we can go and do things like Jeff Chapman. Always we're always using clients, never accounts. That's just a key thing to remember. Click in, and you can see one. It tells me what the next action is. And also the beauty of being within the client is that if you just do your, your tasks or whatever from here, it automatically links to this particular client. And also what a cool thing to do here as well is we can also say log, log a call. Yeah, tried to call. Put the dates in or he might have called in. Called in. Call purpose. Support. Boom. 
when they call in, if you can get, we can get to the point where they're calling in and we're actually going, right, two secs, Jeff, let me pull up your details, put them on hold. Okay, let's go. Yep, no problem. Da -da 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 -da. Yep, blah, 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 no problem, I'll get that done for you. Stop. And as you can see, it will log how long we're on the phone and everything. And I think that's how pedantic we need to be. Because we can then go down and go, yeah, yeah, you called in on the 30th of December, Jeff. Um, you spoke to John? Very easy. Okay. Um, and again, you've always got this send mail button that we can use here. So we can send all our mail straight from this. And obviously any emails that we do get will also come straight in to this as well, into here.